Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So I am here in Eastern Oregon, uh, heading back to Texas, and I am on the Wallowa River, which is a really, really beautiful river. I've always wanted to fly fish this river, and uh, it's actually been producing for me. Uh, I caught some rainbow trout. They weren't they weren't crazy big, but uh, I did catch some fish. I don't have footage because they slipped right through my net since they were so small. Um, but I can't wait to come here next year in August and when the fishing is really, really good, I'm gonna come back to this river and, and really have at it. But we are here for the unboxing of the Benchmade that I purchased. And if you guys saw the post uh, in the community, uh, you guys, some of you guys guessed pretty close. Uh, I don't think anybody guessed right, maybe one person guessed right of what I bought at the uh, Benchmade headquarters. But I have the box right here, and whoever guessed the Mini Adamus, pat yourself on the back because that is what I got. <laughs> I'm really excited about it because uh, it's a knife that I've been wanting to mod, and not only mod, but actually own because I think it's a beautiful knife. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think of the knife. Uh, I did check out the auto. Uh, from the previous video, I'll leave a link up to that video if you guys haven't seen it already. But I checked out the Auto Adamus and then the Full Size Adamus, which they're great knives, but the Mini Adamus just fit perfectly in my hand, so that's why I went with the Mini. So let's unbox this thing and uh, see what we got going on. So I'm gonna unbox it. I already unboxed it, but you know, the title of the video is unboxing, so I'm taking it out of the box. So you get your basic box with the styrofoam. Uh, no sticker, unfortunately. But I did end up getting a sticker after purchasing it, so I did get my sticker. Uh, hopefully Benchmade will add some stickers here in the uh, near future in their packaging. I just think it would be cool if they put a little sticker in the packaging. But anyways, I could go on for days about stickers. Um, but we will take it out of its fancy cloth case and yeah, I basically ended up getting the all black version because I think it looks really, really good and I'm gonna show you in just a second. But here it is, closed. I think it's gorgeous and then you can see some etching here. I'll get in that in just a second. There's the other side, clip side. Really, really nice and then I'll show you guys the blade, but the action is really good. I basically broke it in on the road trip back or uh, where I started the road trip. So but there is the Crewware Gunmetal Gray Cerico, I believe, for a coating. So you have Crewware, the designer, which is Sibbert, Sibbert Design. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and then on this side you have the Benchmade Butterfly. And then what's really cool at the headquarters, you can actually etch the blade, sorry, not etch, but laser engrave the blade with whatever design you have. Uh, I was considering doing my logo, but I just didn't want to put it in a weird spot on the blade. So what I ended up doing was just putting a forest silhouette or background. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but. I just thought that would look really cool and make it kind of unique and one of a kind. And I don't ever plan on selling this knife, so it fits me well. I do love the Pacific Northwest, uh, just the forest in general. So that is what I got laser engraved. I do have footage of that, and I will make a video of it and post it up for you guys. It's really, really cool what it looks like when it's uh, doing its thing. But we can go through it really quick. Just break it down for you guys. So we got that fuller down the blade, which is really nice. I think it looks really good. You have dual thumb studs. You have, I believe this is a G10 material, or scale, sorry, G10 scales. Beautifully done, it's got the holes on there. I'm not too big on the holes, but I am really loving the whole design of the knife, so the holes didn't really scare me away. And since I'll be creating some new scales, which I'm really excited about doing on this. Uh, I'll either eliminate the holes or just kind of do my take on it. You have a deep carry pocket clip, and this is the, the full length one, because I know they make a shorter one. So that's really nice. You have jimping where your thumb rests. 
right there on that little thumb ramp. And it's not aggressive, it, it feels really, really comfortable, but you do get that grip. You have some on the back end here. You have two standoffs, no backspacer. Maybe I'll uh, consider doing something. And then we do have some jimping here on the bottom. And then for the finger choil up in the front. So, very good ergos. That's one of the reasons why I really, really love this knife. Ergos are amazing, fits my hand great. Uh, even though this is the mini, fits very well in my, I'd say medium to large size hands. Uh, the full size fits great too. Uh, I'm probably gonna get that knife eventually too, so. Um, just really, really good ergos, even reverse. You have that jimping to really grab onto, and then you even have it on the back too, where your thumb lands, so you have more grip. And it feels really, really good that way too. And the pocket clip does not get in the way, reverse or regular grip. So just, again, a really, really great knife and really well designed. Of course, you have the axis lock. Uh, what else? Full liners. That's where, uh, when I saw that, again, very excited because now I know or I knew once I got this knife that I could customize it, so really happy that it has full liners. And that's pretty much it. You have all black hardware, just notice that too. All black, so very stealthy, a very stealthy knife. And yeah, I, I, can't, I can't say enough good things about it. Action's really good, still breaking in, so it's not drop shit to the point of where it does its little bounce, but getting there it also came perfectly centered so very happy about that and I'll be honest if it wasn't perfectly centered out of the box I would have just <laughs> asked them to get me a new one uh, since I'm paying a pretty penny for this knife and speaking of price uh, I want to give a shout out to my brother at Mastering Mayhem uh, he actually donated some funds for me to actually purchase this knife so thank you Marius I really appreciate it and uh, just so you guys know, he's the one who made it possible. So I almost didn't leave Benchmade without this, or with this. So again, thank you to Mastering Mayhem, my brother Marius. Really, really appreciate it. And now I can customize the Mini Adonis. Let me know down below what you guys think of the knife, or if you guys have one yourselves, uh, what you guys think about it. Because uh, I know there's, there's mixed reviews on it, but I don't see anything wrong with this knife. I think it's... I think it's perfect. So, with that being said, I am going to enjoy the rest of the day on the river. And hopefully I can catch a big enough fish and show you guys a rainbow trout. And I'm actually going to be making a few stops along the way back home. Uh, one in Idaho and one in Utah. Uh, I'm not going to say exactly what it is yet, just in case I don't end up doing it. But keep your eyes peeled for those videos. And as always, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. And don't forget the merch. Uh, I'll leave a link down below where you guys can check out the merch on the website. Uh, T-shirts, hats, and uh, I think I have some stickers, some decals. And that's pretty much it at the moment. But yeah, just check it out. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, consider purchasing something to uh, help support the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys end up purchasing something, I will put it towards the uh, channel and more giveaways. So that's always a plus. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.